Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. I have a nice piece of Alaskan salmon here that I caught on my Alaskan fishing trip. Had to fight off a couple bears to keep them from stealing it too. No, not really. <laughs> That's fish story. It's from uh, going to the Sprouts Market this morning. <laughs> so here's what I have here. This is some wild caught uh, Alaskan coho salmon. Um, they had this on sale for $5.99 a pound. Let's open it up and see how this piece looks here. All right. Nice and pink on that side and has skin on the other side. So um, I think I'm just going to try to cook this in my toaster oven. And I think what I'll do is cut it into thirds and try uh, some in this Australian marinade. That's kind of a soy-based marinade and it's pretty good kind of a sweet marinade also this garlic and herb marinade this came from the dollar store so we'll try that one out and then maybe the other one just some olive oil and salt and pepper on it all right i cut this fish into thirds that's the garlic and herb one there the australian one there and i just put a little olive oil on that one so fish is still a little bit frozen so probably let it sit in the marinade for an hour or so and then we'll come back and cook it while my salmon is marinating over here, I'm going to cook up some of this uh, wild mushroom and herb couscous. It's like little uh, pasta balls is what they are. And it comes with a flavor pack, but just a few little dried mushrooms in there and that's it. So I decided to beef it up a bit and put some real mushrooms in there. Now that those mushrooms are cooked down, it's time to add the couscous. Turn off the heat and just stir it up and then I'll cover it with a plate and just let it sit. Let it sit for about five minutes and that's all there is to it. Set my oven to 350 degrees. Got my three pieces of fish. I'll let them marinate about an hour. So probably take about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so to cook, just until they're flaky. It's been about 12 minutes or so, so let's check on these. I just looked this up and it said the internal temperature of salmon should be about 145. Yep, it's done. Okay, let's get those out of there now. All right, I'll let these cool down a little bit before I try them, but here we are, Australian marinade olive oil with salt and pepper and the garlic and herb marinade they all look pretty good all right so I've tasted all three of these and I actually like the middle one with just the olive oil the best um, as far as the two marinated ones it's kind of a toss-up that one's a little sweeter kind of more of a teriyaki flavor well and this one's the garlic and herbs they're different flavors um, kind of hard to say but I like the the middle one the best with just the salt and pepper and the uh, olive oil and if you squirt just a little bit of lemon juice on there makes it perfect in my opinion so that one right there is my favorite in this case simpler is better in my opinion thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time